What instantly tells you that a person wasn't raised right? How someone treats retail workers, or really anyone in the service industry, is a great indicator of their morals and character. If they're rude, mean, and antagonistic, chances are that's not an isolated event. They are likely selfish, entitled, cruel people in everyday life. They just can't always behave that way without repercussions so they put on other faces for people that matter. I was raised conservative, but naturally abandoned the Republican Party over the past 10-15 years. Anyone who didn't was not raised right. I'm 45, mind you. I voted Republican for years and would have even been cool with Mitt Romney as president, though I didn't vote for him. Anyone still on board with Republicanism was raised strong. I once had a date snap her fingers at a waiter of a restaurant we were at. I was a regular at this place. I was so embarrassed. Entrees had been ordered. I excused myself and paid for the meal, and left by side door. The worst part the waiter she snapped at wasn't that even our server. Being mean to cashiers. Like, when I was a cashier and I had to tell people I couldn't do something and they started yelling at me. It was so frustrating. Like dude. I don't make the fucking rules, I agree with you, but I do not make the fucking rules. Lack of basic etiquette in public. Habits that have to do more with lack of awareness, self-concern, as opposed to traits more associated with personality disorders or other potentially genetic-based mental health diagnoses. For me, it's how they treat others. If someone lacks basic manners, disrespects people, or shows no consideration, it can be a red flag that they might not have been raised with the values of decency and respect. When someone acts like they can do no wrong, makes it their business to judge and criticize people that will turn around and do the same things but it's okay because they're smarter. People who say, respect has to be earned and then use that as an excuse to be disrespectful to everyone around them. Someone raised right knows that DI's respect has to be earned. When people don't take criticism well and get overly emotional when corrected about something, tells me their parents didn't communicate with them as well as they should have. If they act good around you and bad around anyone else, or vice versa this happened with one of my ex-friends. He just started acting like a fucking dickhead for no reason. Not saying hello or introducing themselves when the situation calls for it. Or not saying hello to the staff somewhere before telling them what you want. Trying to sing gospel music on a crowded flight. The way they treat customer service workers. If they overreact or try to blame the worker for something they did themselves, it's a sign. Nothing. Some of the worst people I know had the most dedicated, down-to-earth parents. People quickly grow beyond their parents' control. A lot have already been mentioned, haven't seen this one yet at least. When they don't pick up after their dog like why? It's not hard. Pro-LGTV, pro-liberal agenda, 2030 pusher, Trump conspiranoic. Protest for any dumb new movement that the philanthropists come up with. Someone who constantly has an undisclosed agenda and fails to see that it's fucking up everyone's lives around them, but never change. People who are constantly criticizing others. Like why is your head so far up your ass that you care what others are doing so much? People who leave a table covered in trash when they've done eating at a fast food place. Especially when there's a bin right there. They are an anti-voxer. Or a Trump supporter. Or a moron that thinks the schools are trying to turn your kids gay or transgender. Transmission on the front lawn, blanket in the window, and the extension cord running into the neighbor's breaker box. Trauma dumping on random food service and retail workers. Bruh, they aren't getting paid enough to be a therapist. Lack of personal accountability. They can never admit wrongdoing on their part. It's always someone else's fault. They treat others differently based on their wealth, accomplishments, etc. rather than content of character. No respect for their elders. You state how the kids I went to school with talk to their elders. They go over to someone's house to hang out or for a meal and don't bring anything to contribute. 1. Appearance hygiene and cleanliness or untidy 2. Attitude towards others 3. Manners etiquettes. When they play videos and or talk on speakerphone with the volume on a million in public places. I got spanked and I turned out just fine. No, no you didn't. If you think hitting kids is okay. By how they treat strangers or anyone that may be perceived as a lower status than themselves. Entitlement. Lack of accountability. Irresponsible disregard for decency and reliability. The way they talk honestly. Too much swearing or using swearing to explain how they feel. Not returning their buggy to the corral. Simple things like that are a dead giveaway. Taking accountability for their actions is probably the worst nowadays. There's none. When they talk badly about someone who hasn't done anything wrong behind their back. Their brain and public demeanor are like the comic section of a Sunday newspaper. What they should talk about. 
Sometimes you wonder what's so negative about it. Their entire identity revolving around being a tough guy or being a bad pick. Putting a basic life skill on the list of their partner's responsibilities. Those who litter everywhere and have no respect especially to the elders. Rude restaurant fast food workers and generally have a short temper. People who steal or have a homeless person's pet taken off of them. The way they treat servers, people with disabilities and animals. Being rude to their parents especially in front of other people. Constantly talks shit about other people or bullies other people. Not pouring other people a drink when you're at the dinner table. Randomly dancing in public for views, especially in busy places. People who dump refrigerated grocery products on random aisles. Entitlement complex and narcissism. Adult children, basically. If they're scared to speak their mind or apologize way too much. Throwing shit at animals or being unnecessarily mean to animals. Being mean to children for no reason treating animals wrongly. If they treat service workers, especially servers, poorly. When they treat retail workers employees in an awful way. Poor or no manners and lack of consideration for others. When they think please and thank you are optional. Leaving the grocery cart out in the parking lot path. 